Hi friends, Mindy here. I have a very quick process video for you, very simple today. I am going to be working on day 12 of Follow Me from By the Will for God. And I have this beautiful tree, this was the ephemera piece um, that came with the kit. And I just, I really want to use it. Um, I've been kind of hoarding it all of this time and it's we're nearing the end here, so I need to use it. And so I just went ahead and I trimmed around some of it just to get a little bit more of that white space off of there. And I'm going to do that um, with this girl here too. I decided to use this one with the hat. Um, and I'm just going to create a simple, super simple little scene here on the front of this card um, with this girl and this tree. So I wanted to give this um, some ground. So I thought I had originally thought of maybe making it look like she was just kind of standing in a bunch of cherry blossoms that like had fallen to the ground but um the colors were just a little bit different than the tree so then I thought well I'll just go ahead and use this really neutral brown because I haven't used this yet and I really love this paper um I thought about using this side first and then I felt like it was just a little bit too competing with everything that I had in the background there so I just went ahead and I'm just going to flip it over and do the kind of watercolory side um, so I just tore a rough edge just to kind of give some dimension there and then I'm just going to try and fiddle with this and kind of put this um, where I need to now the because the ephemera piece of this girl kind of you know is not a full body view you only see like to part of the hem of her skirt I'm actually going to put her basically so that she's hanging off the end of the card because your eye will just kind of automatically fill in the rest of that and it won't seem like she's just kind of floating in midair if that makes sense. So I just uh, lined this up and I trimmed it down and now I'm just going to fiddle with these pieces. I couldn't decide if I wanted the tree in front or in back of this little brown piece. I did end up doing it in the back, but I slid everything down just a little bit. I didn't like it quite that high up on my tag. So I'm just sliding everything down, just trying to get it kind of in the right position. Um, I knew I wanted the tree kind of off to the right side there. So I'm just going to add a little bit of glue here in this corner to hold this paper in place. And then I'm going to trim it down because I had cut it a little bit too big. So then I thought maybe I would just use this on the back. Um, but I'm, so I'm going to set that aside. I might use that later. And then, um, I'm just going to glue this tree down, trying to decide again, where exactly it's going to live this happy little tree and so um i'm just kind of gluing um the middle section there of that tree and then um, i will go in and finish gluing the other side of this brown paper and then i pulled out the stamp set um and if you're ever having trouble i think i've said this in the unboxing but these are the stamps that come in the kit and they have these really great sleeves that they come in but sometimes it can be hard to get the stamp set out if you're ever having trouble with that, just as a side note, just pull the backer out and stick it in front of the stamp set and then the stamp set will slide right out. So um, anyway, I pulled that out because I want to use that word follow there. And so I needed to kind of position that so I would know where to place my girl here. I kind of wanted her under the tree, but um, what I needed to leave myself enough room to be able to stamp that word. So I just laid the stamp there while I was doing all of that. And now I'm going to go ahead and trim off the rest of this. And then I didn't really want this to go to waste. So I thought, well, maybe I'll just make it look like there's another kind of little tree back there. But I was kind of undecided at this moment. So I just left it kind of tucked in there and I'll decide what to do about that in a minute. In the meantime, I'm going to trim off the bottom um, of the little lady there and then I'm going to go around I'm distressing this just ever so slightly with archival ink and ground espresso and I'm going to use that same ink to stamp out this word follow you can see I just stamped it off on a scrap paper just a couple times just to make sure I was going to get a good impression and then I tuck that over there in this bottom left hand corner this day was talking about the rest of the disciples that Jesus called and so um, I wanted to just put that word on there and now I am going to use the rest of this little ephemera piece or part of it anyway I'm going to kind of hang it off of the left side this is going to give a little bit more color over there and I, I just felt like it helped balance everything and I'm going to try to kind of tuck it down so that it almost looks like that is another tree sticking up there instead of just the branches of the original tree and then I'm going to trim that off and I'm pretty happy with how that turned out just adding a little bit more distressing there um just because I had gone already gone around the entire card and so um now I'm going to turn my attention to 
the back side and I know I need to create a pocket. There's a lot of notes that I want to include on this day. So I'm just going to go ahead and use this pattern paper because I really love this paper. So I'm just kind of getting an eye for how I want to do this. I'm just going to create a little pocket. A lot of my tags this um, this month in this kit I just have little pockets or tuck spots or whatever, um, just like I would do in a regular journal that I was making so that I can tuck all my notes and everything in there. So I'm just taking advantage of the back side of these tags to kind of do that. So creating this little pocket here um, with this brown pattern and I decided to leave the brown pattern showing just to add some extra interest back here on the back and I wasn't exactly sure at this point how this was going to come together except I knew that I needed a pocket for my notes. So I this was just a little bit um, just ever so slightly too wide for my tag so I just needed to trim that down just a little bit had to shave a little bit off of that and so off camera I have used these journaling cards that you could get to coordinate with the kit and I, I wrote out um, the verses and notes and stuff on on them I used three of the different ones and then but what I'm going to do with this one with the car here is I'm going to actually kind of use this to cover up the pocket so the pocket will kind of be hidden and I'm using some clear sticker paper this is like an off cut from whenever I printed something out and just haven't used it. And um, the reason I'm doing this is I, I just thought this was really, uh, I just like these little girls in this car. And then one of the scriptures for this day was talking about the, um, about Jesus and his great commission to, you know, go out into the world and, and, and preach and teach. And so I just thought this would be really um, a cute little card. So that's the verse that's on the back of this card. And so I'm just creating like a little, tip in almost with this. I've done this with several cards this time. And so I just used the sticker paper and I put it down and then wrapped it around to the front. And then you can see it's also just ever so slightly wider. So I'm just going to shave that down a little bit. And then um, you can see here because the sticker paper was just too long, um, it, this is not going to open all the way. So I'm just going to take my X-Acto knife here and just trim um, this little edge right here at the top and the bottom. And that will um, make sure that I can open this. But this leaves an exposed whenever you do it like this. Um, when you're creating a tip in, whether you do this with washi tape or sticker paper, it doesn't really matter. But it leaves an exposed sticky spot. So I always put an additional piece on the inside. And since I'm not using washi, um, I'm just going to use that clear sticker paper there on the inside. And that will, um, you know, so that way I can still see all the writing and it doesn't interfere with the look of the card which is why I didn't use um, any washi to create this. So, um, and then I'm going through my stash. I have this one last um, little itty bitty white paper clip and I thought I would kind of tuck it up behind the tree. And in the end, I didn't really like how that looked um, behind there. It just kind of made a lump. And so I just went ahead and glued the rest of the tree down and I'll just move the clip down further on the card. And I don't think it's too offensive, just kind of hanging out there over on the right side, but it just acts as a closure. It's not necessary. I just, um, I just wanted a little bit of, um, I just didn't really want it flapping open or whatever. So, and then because I was using, um, I used brown on this card, I went ahead and used the whole reinforcers that came with the tag bob kit. Up until this point, I have been using, um, I have a little hole punch and I've just been kind of coordinating them. But since I had brown here, I thought I would just go ahead and use the little stickers and then just going through and distressing the backside now just a little bit here because um, I didn't do the backside before and I'm going to do a little bit to the card. I'm not, you know, distressing it to make, you know, too much, just, just enough to, to kind of make the edges look, look nice. So, and then I need to indicate that this is day 12. So I'm going to use the number stickers that come in the devotional kit that have that beautiful, um, cherry blossom pattern on them. And that is pretty much going to wrap up this card for me. It was just a really simple card, but, uh, I just thought I'd, um, record the process. They don't always have to be, you know, earth earth shattering or whatever. So here are some close up pictures. If you liked this video, I would appreciate it if you gave it a thumbs up. That helps other people find my channel. Subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, bye.